Hi, I said I wasn't going to do it. I said I'd get one doll from the Barbie movie and that would be it. But of course, as you've seen our Barbie here, I think she's getting a little bit lonely. So of course we had to get our Ken. Now it looks like he's a lovely doll. Obviously not unboxed it yet. We're gonna do that together. Let me know if you've already got him, what you think of him, if you've got any of the others, if you're excited about the movie, I know I am. Um, I think I have a confession to make. Every video I've ever done, when I've opened a Barbie or I've opened a second, you know, I've had, a, oh, nearly knocked our Barbie over there. Uh, or if I've had a secondhand Barbie, I always go, I'm not a Barbie collector. I only collect certain ones. Well, I think looking around the room, the amount of the ones I have now, I'm going to say I'm a Barbie collector. I'm still being a little bit fussy on which ones I get. I don't want like hundreds of Barbies or anything like that. But yes, I think it's Barbie mania at the moment anyway. So I thought our fella here needs to go and join the little collection that I already do have. So we're going to go top down now and hope you enjoy. See you in a second. So here is Ken and I have Barbie here by my side who is waiting with eager anticipation to see what he looks like when we get him out of the box. We'll look at the box first. Very basic box. Well, it is a Barbie movie box. It's not that basic, but it's very similar to hers. Just obviously Barbie the movie, 3 Plus, Mattel, and just a little picture. I think it's the same picture that was on the back of hers. So we've got the dream house there. And it says, greetings from Barbie land, wishing you the best day ever. Again, similar sort of writing on the side. Now, I actually got this guy from Argos. I got her direct from Mattel. But when I went back on the Mattel side, thinking, oh, because she was a good price on Mattel, he was actually more expensive on Mattel than he was in Argos. So I went to our local Argos to get him. So let's see whether he's going to be easy to get out. We have some tape there. Well, that's a good sign. That's sort of, uh, hopefully, I'm going to be able to grab him and he's going to slide out. No, yes, I don't want to hit the camera, because normally I do that and the camera goes flying. No, you ain't going to come out, are you, mister? Oh, I've opened the bottom end now, which I don't want to do, but never mind. So we'll push him out. Which way are you going to go? You're going to go the other way, aren't you? Typical. The bit that looks like it's the top we should be opening is not the way he comes out. So I'll put the box there. Obviously, be careful with the boxes if you're wanting to keep them. It's something I'm not bothered about, but I know a lot of people do like to have them displayed in boxes, and they look fantastic like that, I must admit. But... It's just not something I've bothered with. Oh, a bit of cardboard there. And it's scissor time. As you can see, it's the one with the surfboard and his beach outfit. Now, I'm going to be really careful. You, I could snip some of these at the back, but sometimes I think it's easier just to take them this way. Oh, he's got his hand in his pocket. Take your hand out your pocket. Oh, that's one hand. It's not actually got that many pieces holding him in. I suspect we have the dreaded little cable tag things that I always call the wrong name. I don't really know what they're called. There we go. Oh, no, there's another one. Now what's holding you, mister? I think you have something over your shoulder. You do. So, again, well, these might actually break. Oh, no, they're very, very stretchy. They're not going to just break. That's one. And we've got another one on the other side. And two. So now, will you come out? You do. And I put... No, <clears throat> I gave a little pause there. I lost my voice completely. I went really croaky. I was just about to say, which I'm not quite sure how the overlap's going to go on this till I watch it back. Um, I've not took his feet out, which would be helpful. Oh, that one doesn't want to cut. Come on. Right, are we out? No, we're not. His shirt is now tied in. Don't pull when it's these, though, because obviously it's going to rip your fabrics. So he is out, looking very strange the way I've pulled him out. Let's see if the surfboard will come out. Try not to scratch it. That's not going to go. I'll go along the top and then I'm not going to scratch the board because I don't want to do that. 
you know if i just took it out at the back it would be so much easier we have the surfboard as you can see in the box there's this plastic mold shape for him to go in and there's a little bit of a scene from the house um but yeah unless you're keeping him to display in the box that is absolutely of no use to me so i'm gonna put that down we have bits of plastic there keep them all together and let's have a look at this handsome guy here now we can argue for days regarding do they look like the characters from the film i think the general consensus with most people is she's got some looks but we're not so sure about ken the thing is they're meant to look like the dolls aren't they so the actors are meant to look like the dolls so obviously when they created the dolls i've said a lot of obviously there they're gonna look like the dolls <laughs> that's what it's about so it's not your turn missus you stay over there a second and let's have a look at him so i don't know he doesn't look like the actor as such but obviously there's a lot of features there that sort of link as well let me know what you think i know some people were a bit upset that they weren't enough like them but you know it's a doll <laughs> that's all i can say it's a doll he has this hair that is sort of product to death holding it in place because if they didn't it'd be sticking up on ends i don't know whether i would uh, wash it to sort of find out well would it sit he's got some stuck to his face there as well um in fact that's going to annoy me i know i shouldn't really do this but watch he's still not got it there's some loose hairs and i don't like them there we go that's better so yeah he has this uh, haircut which is a little bit uneven one side we might have to do a little bit of work I think I might regret washing his hair. Have any of you washed his hair? Let me know. Um, I know with uh, Barbie here, I didn't do what somebody suggested and I wish they had because I'd read the suggestion after I'd done it. I just basically took each section, sort of brushed it through and sort of positioned it. The, but the other person did suggest if I washed it with the product in, well, wet it with the product in, don't get the product out, then set the curls, it would be better. Is that going to be the same for him? I do not know. Let's get a closer look at his face. He has a very nice face. He really does have a nice face. So this, this hair is like concrete, but he has a nice face. He has this lovely pastel outfit on, um, which again, it is an outfit from the movie. That's the whole point of it. So we'll take his, uh, looks like he's doing a workout there. He's, we'll take his jacket off. It's nicely made. You know, it's, it's stitched, the little tiny sort of, they actually look like they're stitched on. I don't know why they would stitch them on because there's little stitchy bits there. Can you see the little stitchy bits? Yeah, then they look like little studs on that side. I don't know. But it's nicely made. A reasonable piece of sort of fabric as well. It's not some of that horrible sort of fabric that doesn't feel like it's fabric, if that makes sense. His shorts are made of the same fabric and a good fit. He has a press stud on the back, which he's also got a little bit of cotton there holding it together. Don't know why. He has the normal sort of fake underwear on that they have. And on his back, it just says Genuine Barbie 2022 Mattel. So it shows when they're getting everything ready, doesn't it? Um, we'll fasten his trousers up. We will leave his trousers on for him. And let's have a look at the articulation. The head, we've got a nice bit of head tilt there for a little bit forward and back, side to side. I like that for photos. So if they were, for example, they're wanting to look at each other, you've got that nice head tilt or... They're wanting to look up at something. I do like to have a head tilt on a doll. So that's good. Arms, pretty generic for the shoulders, but there's a reasonable amount of movement. We do have a nice elbow move. He's quite stiff. Can you, I don't know if you can hear this. Can you hear the difference in the plastics? It's quite hard plastic. But we've got this movement here. So the elbows move. We have wrists moving, which is all good. Again, great posability in that respect. Pity we don't have a waist movement. But you can sometimes create more movement even without that. We don't have a thigh one here. But we do have a nice knee bend. And his feet are set flat. Now, should we have a look at these shoes? Do they come off quite easy? Yep, they do. So, excuse my peely hands at the minute. Can you see that? I think I don't know. I think I must be, I don't know, a, a lizard or something. Because as soon as it gets to the warm weather, every year my hands peel. Only my hands. And uh, nothing to do with the video of this, but <laughs> there we go. This is what happens no matter how much I moisturise, exfoliate, 
wash they still do the same so apologies for that if people don't like the look of that so ken's hands are beautiful though he's got nice hands there he's got nice sort of markings on so for his knuckles and for his nails that's quite nice so his feet are just flat feet would have been nice to have had an ankle bend i think it does make a difference to a doll if we get that i can almost sort of not bother about a waist one if we get a nice ankle bend or a twist on the upper thigh that's usually a good one but obviously they're mass produced they're out for the movie are they a little bit overpriced possibly definitely shop around but the problem being is i think if we don't buy them now while the shops are providing them the prices when people start selling them secondhand are likely to rocket um because i don't know how many they're making i presume they're making a lot because they are essentially a children's toy they've not said it's like a well, it is a collection in a way, but it's not a collection as in some of their bigger collections. So I don't think it's limited or anything, but I do know you, you've seen it yourself. You go on eBay and the prices go up for apparently no reason, apart from the fact you're not able to get them. And don't use eBay as your first find for things like this either. Always go on the sites. It's like for Barbie here. I actually went on the Mattel site and got a better deal than I did elsewhere. But for him... I ended up at Argos because I did a shop round, see who was where he was available, and Argos was about the best one. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, was he 44? Still a lot of money for this sort of doll, but you are paying for the franchise here as well. He does have a surfboard, which is just a plastic board. Is it a surfboard? I don't know. I'm not very uh, sporty in that respect. I presume he wouldn't have his shoes on uh, when he does that, but I know I've seen photos and I'm sure you guys have as well where he's surfing, but I'm not quite sure how we get the positioning on that. I'll have to look at one of the photos again and see if I can get him to do the same. On their image, I know obviously it is a advertising image, it does look like he's got more movement. They've sort of, I don't know, sort of made him look like he's moving more than perhaps he is. I will have to have a go. I will have to have a go at that. So that's it, really. I just wanted to introduce Ken to you, introduce the fact that I've now admitted I'm a Barbie collector, but only certain ones. I'm still going to be fussy. I like the articulation. I like my curvy girls. Obviously, if there's special editions like this, because I've got my Captain Kirk, I've got my Elvis. So if there's special ones like that, I do like them. Or if it's a film character, I like things like that. So these just had to be bought, didn't they? So that's it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got them. Please like, subscribe and share if you enjoy my videos. And I will see you very soon with another one. Bye bye for now. <laughs>